Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast, YouTube edition. I am your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today we are talking about cow's tails. Hmm. Anyways, if this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. So stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning into today's episode. So like I said, we're talking about cow's tails. Now, this is your standard everyday cow's tail that people are, you know, used to having. Okay. It's just a piece of rope uh, cut off. You tie some knots in the end of it. You attach it to your harness and you use that as your lanyard nothing special about it okay um kind of the pros and cons to this is you have the choice of different knots choice of different lengths um different knots will serve different purposes and help you or those will have their own uh, pros and cons the nice thing about this is also that they're extremely cheap so a dynamic rope full length 60 meter rope maybe 300 dollars that's going to last you a very long time if you're cutting that up into cow's tails. Um, and then, you know, you just can uh, grab whatever connectors you want and it's all good. Um, they have great dynamic properties. So obviously with the knots, they have the ability to um, absorb shock very well. And obviously you have a dynamic rope and also that has the dynamic properties however let's get rid of that for now then we have these these are the this one here is the Petzl Jane um, as you can see it's still in the box so let's see what's in here and no this is not an unboxing video I'm pretty sure you all know what that looks like but hey it is what it is so don't need that um, instruction manual who needs instructions little end piece another end piece you kind of put these together and then you put your connectors inside those okay so that's pretty much what you have okay this is a 60 centimeter one um so primarily this length would be used off your sternal for your backup devices not a very common length uh on the rope access side of things um the standard lengths are your like 90s and a little bit longer um, that come off your waist. Now, the thing about this is this is expensive. So this 60 centimeter um, pre-sewing lanyard what cost me $40 Canadian. That other one probably would only cost you about all in all $3. So a huge downfall with these is cost. Um, you have no ability to change the outcome of this. It is, it's the length. The benefit on this here, one benefit is that because it is sewn on both the sides, um, it maintains approximately 90, 95% strength here. Okay. We don't have a reduction of knots. And in some cases, some people are referring to 50%, um, strength loss when you tie knots into uh, rope. With it being sewn like this, you are maintaining that strength, um, which is great. However, you're not gaining any shock absorption with this. This doesn't, it, it's like a solid piece of rope. Um, I'll almost treat it like a, uh, a low stretch um, static connection. Don't treat this like a dynamic connection. There's no shock absorption except for what you get from point A to point B, and that's pretty minimal. Um, now, the nice thing about these are that they are certified and been tested for several different things. Um, you can use these as anchor uh, connections, anchor slings. You know, check out the manufacturer specifications for that sort of stuff. Um, now, when you take this 
And with that new Z459 uh, regulation uh, standard that's coming out in the United States, this is what they're requiring. Okay, this is what they're talking about, about the cow's tails in that standard. Um, they want to make sure that you're using one of these because ANSI's really all about their systems. That's from point A to point B. So they want a um, EN362 connector with a closing connection. So a Malon attached to the one side, this, and then an ANSI Z359 and maybe soon a 459 certified uh, carabiner with a 3600 or 16 kilonewton uh, rated gate on it. All in all, this is going to cost you upwards of $60, $70 Canadian just for one lanyard. And most people have three or four of them on their harness. Now, if you're a small, small time rope access technician washing windows and you're trying to uh, conform to the Z459 regulation in the United States, this is going to be a very large expense where if you're using your standard cow's tails or lanyards with the knots, that is a pretty minimal expense to actually have to fork out. Um, these, I am not a fan of. One, cost is horrible. No shock absorption, that's horrible. Um, but yeah, they're fixed. You can't really manipulate them. They are what they are. They're, you know, they can sometimes be a problem to get a hold of. Um, you know, supply demand situations. So are they worth it? I don't think so, but that's my opinion. I know that there are a lot of people that do use them out there. A lot of people do have their reasons for using them, whatever. Um, the amount of cow sales that I rip up in uh, using a chest ascender when you're aid climbing or whatever, I, I'd rather just throw at a cow's tail, grab a new one, tie it onto the harness, continue on my day and not worry about it. Can't really do that when you start using those uh, specific lanyards for rope access. Anyways, that's what I have. Let me know in the comments what you think about uh, the Janes or whatever. I'm not down talking Jane, Petzl Jane specifically. Any sewing lanyard is more what I'm talking about. They all fall in the same category. Um, are you pro sewing terminations? Or are you pro knotted terminations? Let me know in the comments below. All right, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. It definitely shows me you are liking this content, shows me that you want to see more of it. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. It's down here in the right hand corner. Hit the bell for notifications as I put out new content every Sunday. If you haven't already, check me out wherever you get your podcast. And, and until next time.